Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I want to do a quick tutorial on how you can extract uh, resources from a Vassal module. Uh, a lot of times people ask how they can get uh, a game map or a game board uh, to print on neoprene or onto uh, a larger size or s something like that. And uh, the answer is as simple as using the Vassal module. So I've downloaded this old classic Azanti High Lightning module. It's a traveler based game from Game Designers Workshop released back in the 80s. And I just downloaded the module um, from uh, the Vassal website, vassal.org. And you can do this for pretty much any module that I'm aware of. Uh, a lot of it's gonna hinge on the quality that the uh, designer of the module actually put into into it. You can only get in what you get, what you know, we get out. But a lot of the ones that are produced by uh, publishers themselves are usually pretty high quality resources. So let's just show you how to do this real quick. So first thing you're gonna do, I'm doing this in Windows. I'm sure there's a uh, comparable Macintosh or Linux uh, means of doing the same thing. But the first thing we wanna do is rename this to a .zip file. The vmod is only a zip file. Do you wanna exchange the extension? Sure do and that changes it to a zip file, and you'll see that Windows now looks at it as a zip file. So we can enlarge, enlarge this a little bit. If you use it as being a zip file. So now when we click into it, we've got folders. We've got a readme, we've got module data, build file, and images, and that's the one we want to go into. What we want to do is I want to, look at, I want to find the blueprint files. That's my goal for this mission, is to find the blueprint files for the ship. It contains... Uh, 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 the game contains uh, a rule book, tokens, a couple of charts, and mostly 14 blueprint files for ship plans of the Azanti High Lightning ship. So you see right here, we open this up, and now we've got a whole list of different images. A1 GIF, A2 GIF, A3 GIF, A4 GIF, if you're a GIF versus GIF person. Uh, scrolling down, we see we've got PNG, so on and so forth. So I'm going to pull... I'm going to change my view into extra large icons so we can see things a little bit better here. And let's just explore. Oh, you know what you can't do? <laughs> That's one thing you can't do is you can't see inside of a zip. If you know exactly the file you're getting, you can go into here and take it out and just copy and paste it. But for the, the uh, Windows viewer, uh, it cannot be in a zip file. It has to be outside the zip file for the Windows viewer to actually see the contents of each of these items. So we can scroll down, and if you see here, we have deck deck 1 through 14 right here. And those should be the deck plans. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy those and back out here, and we'll make a new folder called decks. And then I'll go into that and I'll just paste those in. And now we've got the deck plans. Now they're only 827K, so they're not that high of resolution, probably. We can look at the properties. And the details say that this is, well, it's actually not too bad. It's a 2450 by 1372 pixel image. That should print pretty good at, uh, at uh, some, some larger larger print sizes. These maps were double folded, really huge, uh, really huge, um, excuse me, single folded, uh, two sides, and they, uh, um, I, don't, I don't remember the exact size of them. They were pretty large though. But anyway, let's go back into our view extra large icons, and you can see there we have all the deck plans. And now let's just try to open one of these up in Photoshop. I have Photoshop here ready to go, and I'm going to drag one of these in, let it open, and there it is right now. We've got the avionics deck, the casual deck, the cartography deck. So uh, you can see it's pretty easy to go in and get all the resources that you need. Um, see, that's 100% resolution. Get my image size showing here. So we convert this to inches. It says it's designed right now. It's eight inches by four and a half inches at 300 pixels per inch. You could safely enlarge this maybe to 16 by 10 pretty easily uh, at 150 pixels. 
And one, one secret is the larger you print something, uh, the less resolution per inch you actually need. You'll be surprised that uh, billboards, for understand, they, they may be six pixels per inch or, or uh, around there. So that always shocked me when I was designing stuff. I thought everything had to be 300 at least to be really nicely printed. But a lot, a lot depends on the distance it's being seen and some other things. But anyway, so uh, I'm not resizing this although apparently I actually accidentally did. Um, but that is how you get to the images. They're encapsulated into a vassal module. Um, and again, you can explore uh, and find other things that you're in this case, if you're inside the zip file viewing the details, you can sort by type. So now we've got the PNG, so we have zoom, undo, these are buttons probably that are used in the game, in the actual module. But then some of these are actually going to be units. It looks like they may have them animated, because <laughs> they're GIFs. So. Anyway, hope that's helpful, and uh, that you'll be able to find what you're looking for when you need to use it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.